Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions, along with detailed answers for SAP MM Enhancement. Examples 1. What is SAP MM Enhancement? Answer. SAP MM Enhancement refers to the customization or modification of standard SAP functionality to meet specific business requirements. It allows organizations to extend and adapt SAP MM processes beyond the standard capabilities to better align with their unique needs. 2. Can you provide an example of a user exit in SAP MM? Answer. Common example of a user exit in SAP MM is the Enhancement MO6 E005, which enables additional validation or processing during the creation or modification of purchase orders. For instance, you can use this user exit to enforce specific business rules or perform additional checks before a purchase order is safe. 3. How do you implement a user exit in SAP MM? Answer. Implementing a user exit in SAP MM involves identifying the appropriate exit point within the standard SAP program and then developing custom ABAP code to fulfill the desired functionality. This code is then linked to the exit point using transaction codes SMOD or CMO. Once activated, the user exit will execute the custom logic whenever the corresponding event occurs. 4. What is a business add in body in SAP MM? Answer. Business add in body in SAP MM is an enhancement technique that enables developers to add custom business logic to standard SAP applications without modifying the original code. Badis provide predefined interfaces that allow for seamless integration of custom functionality, ensuring compatibility with future upgrades. 5. Give an example of a body used in SAP M. Answer. An example of a body in SAP MM is me process PO cost, which allows users to enhance purchase order processing. For instance, you can use this body to add additional fields to the purchase order screen, or implement custom validation rules based on specific business requirements. 6. How do you find available badis in SAP MM? Answer. You can find available BADIS in SAP MM by using transaction code SAY18 or by navigating to the implementation guide IMG path. Materials Management Purchasing Purchase Order Define Screen. Layout at document level activate or deactivate customer specific subscreens. Here, you can search for relevant BADIS and explore their documentation. 7. What is an enhancement spot in SAP MM? Answer. An enhancement spot in SAP MM is a structured collection of enhancement options provided by SAP that allows for the implementation of custom enhancements across multiple locations in the system. It provides a centralized framework for organizing and managing various enhancement options. 8. Can you explain how to use an enhancement spot in SAP MM? Answer. To use an enhancement spot in SAP MM, you first identify the appropriate spot within the spot hierarchy. Then, you implement the desired enhancement options within that spot according to your business requirements. These enhancements can include user exits, BADIS, implicit enhancements, and more. 9. Give an example of an enhancement spot in SAP M. Answer, an example of an enhancement spot in SAP MM is ES SAPMO 6E, which contains enhancement options for purchase order processing. Within this enhancement spot, you can implement various enhancements such as adding custom fields, implementing additional validation logic, or triggering external processes. 10. What is the difference between a user exit and a body in SAP MM? Answer, the main difference between a user exit and a body in SAP MM lies in their technical implementation and flexibility. User exits are older technology and typically allow for one-time modifications to standard SAP programs, whereas BADIS are more modern and support multiple implementations, providing greater flexibility and compatibility with future releases. 11. How do you activate an enhancement project in SAP? MM? Answer. To activate an enhancement project in SAP MM, you use 
transaction code SMOD or C mode to assign the project to a package and then activate it. Once activated, you can implement enhancements within the project, such as user exits, BATIS, or enhancement spots. 12. What is the purpose of an implicit enhancement point in SAP MM? Answer. An implicit enhancement point in SAP MM is a predefined hook provided by SAP that allows for custom logic to be inserted at specific locations in standard programs without modifying the original code. These enhancement points offer a flexible and non-disruptive way to enhance standard SAP functionality. 13. Can you provide an example of an implicit enhancement point in SAP? MM? Answer. One example of an implicit enhancement point in SAP MM is in the standard purchase order processing program. By leveraging this enhancement point, you can add custom validation checks, field modifications, or additional processing steps without altering the underlying standard code. 14. How do you implement an implicit enhancement point in SAP MM? Answer. Implementing an implicit enhancement point in SAP MM involves identifying the appropriate location within the standard program where the enhancement is needed. Then, using transaction code SAY80, you can insert custom ABAP code at the implicit enhancement point to achieve the desired functionality. 15. What are some best practices for implementing enhancements in SAP? MM? Answer. Some best practices for implementing enhancements in SAP MM do thoroughly analyzing business requirements to determine the most suitable enhancement technique, documenting all changes made to standard functionality, performing comprehensive testing to ensure the stability and correctness of enhancements, and adhering to SAP's recommended guidelines and naming conventions. Additionally, it is essential to consider the long-term impact of enhancements and their compatibility with future system upgrades. 16. How do you approach troubleshooting when encountering issues with enhancements in SAP? MM? Answer. When troubleshooting enhancement-related issues in SAP MM, it's crucial to first identify the specific enhancement that may be causing the problem. This involves reviewing the implementation of user exits, BATIS, or enhancement spots to ensure they are correctly coded and activated. Additionally, analyzing relevant system logs, such as the application log cell 1, or developer traces, can provide valuable insights into any errors or issues encountered during runtime. Collaborating with functional and technical teams to understand the context of the enhancement and its impact on related processes can also aid in troubleshooting efforts. 17. What precautions should you take before implementing enhancements in a production environment? Answer. Before implementing enhancements in a production environment, it's essential to thoroughly test them in a development or quality assurance system to validate their functionality and ensure they meet business requirements. This testing should encompass various scenarios and edge cases to identify any potential issues or unintended consequences. Additionally, it's advisable to perform a thorough impact analysis to assess the potential impact of the enhancements on existing processes and data. Having a rollback plan in place and obtaining necessary approvals from stakeholders are also critical. Steps to mitigate risks associated with production deployments. 18. Can you explain the concept of enhancement framework in SAP MM? Answer. The enhancement framework in SAP MM provides a structured and standardized approach to implementing enhancements, offering a variety of options such as user exits, BATIS, enhancement spots, and implicit enhancement points. This framework facilitates the seamless integration of custom logic into standard SAP functionality, while minimizing the risk of conflicts or disruptions during system upgrades. By leveraging the enhancement framework, organizations can extend the capabilities of SAP MM to meet evolving business needs without compromising system stability or maintainability. 19. What factors should you consider when choosing between different enhancement options in SAP? 
SAP-MM? Answer, when choosing between different enhancement options in SAP-MM, several factors should be considered, including the specific requirements of the business process being enhanced, the complexity of the required changes, and the compatibility with future system upgrades. User exits are suitable for making one-time modifications to standard programs, while BATIS offer greater flexibility and support multiple implementations. Enhancement spots provide a centralized framework for organizing enhancements, and implicit enhancement points offer non-disruptive options for inserting custom logic into standard programs. Evaluating these factors will help determine the most appropriate enhancement option for the given scenario. 20. How do you ensure that enhancements comply with SAP's guidelines and best practices? Answer. Ensuring that enhancements comply with SAP's guidelines and best practices involves adhering to established development standards, naming conventions, and coding guidelines. It's essential to leverage SAP's documentation and resources, such as the Enhancement Guide and SAP Community, to stay informed about recommended practices and patterns for implementing enhancements, performing code reviews and quality checks, as well as leveraging tools like Code Inspector or a BAP Test Cockpit ATC, can help identify and address any deviations from best practices. Additionally, ongoing training and knowledge sharing among development teams can help. Maintain awareness of the latest recommendations and ensure consistent adherence to SAP standards. 21. What is the role of the Enhancement Framework in SAP? MM? Answer. The Enhancement Framework in SAP MM provides a structured approach for customizing and extending standard functionality. It offers various enhancement options such as user exits, business add-ins BATIS, enhancement spots, and implicit enhancement points. This framework ensures that customizations are implemented in a modular, maintainable, and upgrade-compatible manner. 22. Can you explain the difference between a classic user exit and an implicit enhancement point? Answer. A classic user exit is a predefined hook provided by SAP that allows developers to add custom code at specific points in a program. In contrast, an implicit enhancement point is a blank space provided by SAP within standard code, allowing developers to insert custom logic without modifying the original program. While user exits require explicit activation and are documented by SAP, implicit enhancement points offer more flexibility, but should be used judiciously to maintain system stability. 23. How do you find user exits in SAP MM? Answer. You can find user exits in SAP MM by using transaction code small. This transaction displays a list of available enhancement projects and their associated user exits. By entering a project and selecting the components button, you can view the user exits assigned to that project, along with their descriptions and status. 24. What are some common scenarios where you might use enhancement options in SAP? MM? Answer. Common scenarios for using enhancement options in SAP MM include adding custom fields to master data screens, implementing additional validation checks during document processing, enhancing reporting capabilities by adding custom columns or calculations, integrating with external systems using BATIS, and customizing user interfaces to improve usability. 25. How do you ensure that enhancements are properly documented and maintainable? Answer. Proper documentation and maintainability of enhancements are ensured by following established development standards. Documenting customizations comprehensively and maintaining a centralized repository of enhancement-related documentation. Additionally, version control systems like SAP Solution Manager or external repositories can be used to track changes, and facilitate collaboration among development teams. 26. What precautions should be taken when implementing enhancements in a production environment? Answer. Precautions when implementing enhancements in a production environment include performing thorough testing in a non-production system, 
obtaining necessary approvals from stakeholders, scheduling changes during low impact periods, ensuring adequate rollback procedures are in place, and monitoring system performance, and stability post-implementation to quickly address any issues that arise. 27. How do you handle conflicts between multiple enhancements in SAP? MM? Answer. Conflicts between multiple enhancements in SAP MM can be handled by analyzing the sequence of execution, resolving conflicting changes, and ensuring that enhancements are harmonized to achieve the desired outcome. Communication and collaboration among development teams are essential to identify and address conflicts effectively. 28. What is the purpose of a business ad in body in SAP MM? Answer. The purpose of a business ad and body in SAP MM is to provide a standardized way to enhance standard functionality without modifying the original code. BATIS offer predefined interfaces that allow developers to implement custom logic in response to specific events or conditions, ensuring compatibility with future upgrades and reducing the risk of conflicts. 29. Can you provide an example of how you have used enhancement options to solve a business problem in SAP? MM? Answer. For example, to address a requirement for additional validation checks during purchase order processing, we implemented a body that triggered custom logic to validate purchase orders based on specific criteria. This enhancement ensured that purchase orders met the organization's business rules before being processed further, improving data accuracy and reducing errors. 30. What are the benefits of using enhancement options in SAP? MM? Answer. The benefits of using enhancement options in SAP MM include flexibility to tailor standard functionality to specific business requirements, improved maintainability by avoiding modifications to standard code, compatibility with future upgrades and the ability to leverage SAP's best practices and guidelines for custom development. Additionally, enhancements can enhance user productivity, streamline business processes, and support organizational growth and innovation. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.